Ask Reddit on Reddit Rundown. Surgeons of Reddit, what's the weirdest object you've had to remove from someone's butt? I'm a vet. Dog had eaten a whole roll of poop bags. The plastic bag is people use to clean up after their pets on walks. Then spilled in his gut and spread from stomach to colon. His owners realized what had happened when he started pooping out bags and brought him in through ER. My coworker went in to cut him and the scene she described was hilarious. He would intermittently strain a little and poop out a little section of bags. Someone would tear them off and he'd be okay for a bit, then poop out some more. Like he was dispensing them for himself. He did great after surgery. Years ago, my nurse wife told me a man had an apple removed from his butt, but I never understood how this could be possible. I often think about this, but have never asked her for more details. I'll ask her over the table at Christmas dinner tonight. Oh, you can safely get things bigger than an apple in an anus. Your ectum is pretty stretchy. If you go slow yeah, you got a trend for it though. You can't get anything sizable up your ass if you haven't done it before. ER nurse. I've seen baseballs, loads of dildos, cans of soda, vegetables. There should be a public service announcement about using dildos in the bum. It needs to have balls, or some sort of base, so it doesn't get lost up there. Women's vaginal dildos don't need them, as there is only so far it will go. A doctor I worked with once told a man, it's okay if you want to put things in your rectum. You just have to use the right things. Without a base without a trace, if you like it, then you should put a string on it. When I worked in the ER we had a guy come in with a 6 battery mag light stuck up main street. The funny part is that it was inserted bulb out and it was turned on. So we laid him down prone and the doc spread his cheeks. The room lit up like he just cracked open Marcellus Wallace's briefcase. I suppose the light does shine down there. Holy shit, I haven't cracked up like that in a while. Nicely written. An enormous silicon, but plug which broke off at its base inside the patient. It was shaped like a soft cone on a stalk, with the base at the bottom. Had to remove it in pieces. Also, an orang in a bottle two years before this bud plug. Would you have grounds for compensation slash suing? If a sex toy broke like that, I'm not gonna buy a bud plug, rip the base off, and pop it up me bum, but I do wonder. I'm imagining this happening between a couple, and the first moments and facial expressions of the plugger and the pluggy, the latter staring at the plugless base in their hand. Back when I was an ER tech, we had this guy come in with a full size bottle of VO5 shampoo up his butt. Of course he said he fell on it in the shower. You could clearly see it on the x-ray, it was pretty spectacular. The best part was he knew exactly what needed to be done to get it out. Suggesting that this wasn't the first time, he asked for conscious sedation and for someone to pull it out. Well the ED doctor tried that, then tried to manually get it out with forceps and was essentially elbow deep in this dude, but couldn't get it. He had to go to the operating room to get it taken out. I bumped into the surgeon a few days later and asked him how it went. He joked to me that after we knocked him out, I grabbed a plunger out of the bathroom and got it out that way. But then told me all he had to do was stick some suction up there till he felt it connect and then slowly pulled it out. According to the surgeon, this guy never presented any sort of identification or insurance card and demanded to pay his entire bill before he left, usually takes some time for bills to get finalized. He paid it completely in cash and then left via a taxi. I'd be more interested in what non-medical people have had to help people remove from their butts. My cat swallowed dental floss, and I had to pull it out of her ass. I'm not a medical professional, just a grossed out lady with a new lidded trash bin. Oh man. When our husky was little he ate one of my wife's thongs. I had to pull it out of his butt. Also cat. Cat ate cassette tape and my mom followed the little guy around pulling cassette tape out of him for a couple days until it finally passed. Friend had to do the same with Butcher's twine and his dog. He said it felt like turning on a lawnmower. Not a surgeon, but, wowie wowie, do I know a lot of cases involving falling on things and other such excuses. Here are just some of the things I know. A Buzz Lightyear action figure. A Barbie doll. Plaster of Paris. They wanted a mold of his colon. 
Instead, it had to be cut open as it was glued shut by the plaster. Glasses, the sight kind. Jewelry, mostly necklaces. A cucumber which, after proclaiming he fell over in the garden naked and landed on his cucumber patch, still had the Tesco wrapper on it. A light bulb. Finally, on a rather dark note, if you're a fool who slipped something up their black hole, cause the bud sucks things in disturbingly well, they can't retrieve. Please. For the love of god, go to your doctor. People have died due to toxic shock due to this shit. A guy here died of it in two weeks, due to having a dildo stuck up there and never went to his doctors. Your pride can recover, but you can't recover from death. Son of a doctor here. My dad removed an entire peeled sweet potato from someone's colon once. He swore that he had just slipped and fell on it. Maybe he was just cooking while naked. He peeled the potato, put it on the floor, so he can get something from the fridge and whoops, just slips and falls right on the potato. Not me, but a good friend I have known since 6th grade who is an emergency room doctor. Straight couple in their early 20s and they were using a vibrator on her. They switch, he said it was his first time, and they had lube everywhere, and the slim 6 inch vibrator disappeared all the way up in him, while it was still on. They waited and tried to get it out on their own and finally went into the ER they were going to wait till the batteries died, but it was getting late. My buddy tried to get it out, but couldn't get it. He told the guy they might have to do surgery to get it. The guy asks my buddy, if he has to go in, can he call his mom and tell her. My buddy laughs and says you are 22 and you get to call your mom to tell her you have a buzzing vibrator in your ass that might be perforating your colon. Then my buddy remembers a guy he went to medical school who works in the same hospital. He has freaky long thin fingers like E.T. that might work. The other doctor gloves up and gets the vibrator still buzzing out of him. Just an FYI it is really easy for this to happen. So emit the lube on your hands. Your colon gets like a suction on it, and things go in easy like what happened to these guys. Edited. Subbed vibrator where dildo was, the trick is having something with a base. Always have a nice wide base on anything inserted anally. We received a patient with horrible pain that felt like constipation. He couldn't poop, and laxatives weren't helping. We soon found out that the blockage wasn't just constipation. It was a string of beads several meters long that had become tangled into an ugly ball inside. I had to snip it apart and carefully pull pieces of it out. When most of it was out his asshole became a rocket engine with diarrhea as the propellant. Does this mean you are a rocket surgeon now? I've seen a small size Fanta orange soda can't get pulled straight out of a man's rectum. Did you drink it? No. Too bad it was empty. He drank it wrong. Y'all don't but chug soda? A friend of mine is a surgery resident, and during one of her trauma shifts a meth head walked in with an incandescent light bulb in his colon. It was shoved in with a wide part first. They were dilating the rectum in an attempt to remove it, and the resident in charge of the procedure managed to accidentally separate the metal base from the glass globe, which immediately shattered under the pressure of the colon. They had to perform a partial colectomy to resolve the complication. Meth is a hell of a drug. A foreign body parectum is a fairly common occurrence. In my time rotating in the air the most common things have been eucaroots, avocados, shampoo bottles, etc. But that light bulb story is still unmatched. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen the x-ray. My mom worked in the ER at Johns Hopkins back in the 70s. She pulled a coke bottle out of a senator's ass. She refuses to say who though because ethics. I think most people believes that big companies are up the politicians asses, but this is taking it a bit too much directly. Not a surgeon, but as a former paramedic, I brought them lots of business and feel qualified to chime in. I brought a guy to the hospital with severe abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. The dispatch nature was accidental injury, not life threatening per patient. The chief complaint was I put something in my butt and can't get it out. Patient refused to elaborate on something. Delivered patient to the ED and was filling out my run report when the charge nurse came into the EMS room and said come here, you have to see this. I followed her to the little x-ray alcove next to his room as a surgical orderly was wheeling him out of the room, along with the nurse and the ED attending. 
The charge nurse flipped on the light board. Yes, I'm going old enough x-rays used to be film based, and I stared in confusion for a few seconds. I could make out the pelvis, both femurs, spine, etc but there were other hard objects shown. She pulled down the first x-ray and put up the second, which is when I made out a small animal skull and I realized the other objects were bones as well. I looked over to the nurse and started is that a rat she finished. Dude stuck a rat up his ass and was rushed to surgery because it chewed the shit out of him, pun intended, before suffocating and had perforated his colon in multiple locations. He survived to discharge and is presumably still out there. My partner and I never did determine the method of administration, but I'm picturing one of those habitrail plastic tube cage setup things. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe, and check out other videos on my channel. Thank you and have an awesome day.